right guys, Naz here on the Spooling Up channel. Um, today I'm on the Mark 4 Golf GTI. Decided that I wanted to replace the speakers in here because um, I think that I can get better quality speakers in this car. Because when I drive my BMW, I'm like, man, the sound quality in here is so much better. The Golf, um, it's a bit rattly and uh, it's just really poor quality, man. Everybody knows a poor quality speaker when they hear one. Um, so yeah, I've bought some speakers. I'm gonna go grab them now. Start stripping these door cars down um, to get them fitted. Hopefully, it's a nice, straightforward job. Um, a few little bits that I can fix as well on the way. Like one of my door cards is proper crusty, so gonna have a look at fixing that. I was gonna get really technical with this and start doing like little sound tests and stuff, but because my recording equipment and the audio equipment and my editing and that's not up to par. Um, there's no point it would be a bit wasted and uh, I'm not that technical anyway, but I did find a little um, sound test here on uh, YouTube, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of it Hopefully it doesn't annoy my neighbors too much, but it's just to test the quality of the speakers a little bit So they don't actually sound too bad at the moment But to be honest with you when you're driving along and you get a song that kind of like pumps a little bit of bass It is rattly and I don't know whether it's the speakers that are rattly or whether it's my interior because it's um, a bit poor quality this one, so I'm not too sure but anyway um, Let's go ahead and have a look at the new speakers now. I'm actually gonna start off on the passenger side here and what I'm going to start with is the three torque screws at the bottom of the door card. Now, I've just looked and I've actually only got two. Some of you may have three, some of you may have one, some of you may have none, but I'm going to undo those three there at the bottom first things first. Now, I did actually have some plastic pry tools, but I do not know what's happened to them. They break very easily. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a screwdriver here, flathead, get it into the groove there. And um, I'll be popping this handle off because there'll be some screws behind there also. So once I've run my screwdriver along it, I'm able to pop this here off. And there are two Phillips screwdrivers what holds the handle on nice and securely so I'm going to go ahead and remove those two as well now the screws often get stuck in these little holes if your screwdriver is not magnetic it's a good idea to have a magnet boom we also have a Phillips screw up here in the corner make sure that you also remove that one in order to get the door card off so once you've undone all the screws what you want to do is you want to start pulling from the bottom and there are poppers in the door and they will pop as you give them a little yank like so just to get things out of place now it's really loose all I'm gonna do is pick it up off the door pull it away and unplug everything behind and um, make sure that I don't break anything now I knew this part was gonna be difficult but we've got a few plugs we need to remove one for the window switch we have the plug right down the bottom there for the interior light and we also have the cable for the door release so I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these and then that should be the door card out of the way now here we go um, here's the original speaker as you can see it's riveted into place and what I'll have to do to remove it is unplug up here and then um, I'm gonna have to drill those rivets out right so I'm just gonna strip the last couple of bits off this um, before I go ahead and drill it so it'll be that and then I'll take this plug out as well and then we're ready to drill those rivets out all I've got here is my little drill and I also have um, a 5 mil drill bit I think I'm using because that's all I could really find so hopefully once I draw them out we're all good Okay, so there we go. That is one door speaker removed. Now, funny, I've just found an interesting thing about the past of this car. Window was smashed at some point. So time to have a little clear out in there and a little hoover and get rid of um, some of the old glass out there because that, I wonder, could possibly jiggle about in there a little bit and cause a bit of noise so I'm gonna go ahead and hoover all that out now as well okay so time to show you what we get in the kit so we get four um, 
plug adapters for the loom here and the new speakers and we get the four plates or brackets whatever you want to call them which hold the speakers to the actual door itself um, and then we have two front speakers here 280 watts 16 centimeters also they come with two tweeters which I don't know if I'm gonna bother fitting yet and then we also have the two rear speakers so I'm gonna go ahead and open these boxes up and um, I might try and uh, put that front one back now and get the fronts done and then move on to the rears tomorrow here's what we get for the fronts pretty solid seem like pretty good quality so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get one of these plates on now and then um, look at fitting the front speakers luckily the kit does come with a little bag of fixings and it does come with all of this for fitting the tweeters as well um, but yeah let's see how we get on right so because this old speaker had a foam back into it um, kind of like a seal for it against the door I had some of these bottle strips left over from when I sealed around my door here and I'm just gonna see if it works um, here otherwise I'll have to use like some um, foam backing to try and uh, replicate what we have on the old speaker just so as not to let some water through and just to keep everything nice and sealed there but I'm gonna try this anyway hopefully it doesn't protrude too much so the door card can still fit on nicely but let's see how we go okay so this has gone on very nicely I just used some of the clips at the back put the screws through the holes and um, as you can see my seal is round the edge and it's also inside so what I can do is I can trim any excess off but it's just good to know that there's something in between this bracket and the door um, so I'm gonna go ahead now see if I can get the speaker into place but um, first things first I need to have a look at that wiring I actually think now that I've got this adapter connected up I think the best thing to do is to maybe just drill a little hole into this plate here and feed the wires through straight to the speaker the only thing is for that to happen the speaker it's not going to go on this way it will have to go on that way but to be honest with you it doesn't really matter because um, it's not going to make any kind of difference so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to fit it like that and see how we go okay so now I've made a small hole here I'm able to get my wires through and I'll be able to connect them to the speaker put the self tapping screws up onto the bracket and see if the speaker works okay so this side is now done it's just time to get the door card back on I've tested it and it definitely works time to get the door card back on now and um, I'll crack on with the driver's side okay let me just show you something important um, these poppers here or door fixings whatever you want to call them they are broken pretty easily they get brittle after time I've actually broken the one here um, and it's pretty simple you can buy replacements on eBay you may even be able to get some from Amazon I'm not too sure I can't remember but don't stress too much if you break them because they are easily replaceable okay so as you can see it's getting a little bit dark now I am however gonna start stripping the driver side until I can't work anymore and I want to make a repair to this door card as well while I'm working on this so once I get it off before I put it back on I'll be repairing that okay so I've done my free torque screws down at the bottom it's time to turn our attention to the handle now I can you can feel it from underneath there's a bit of a lip if you can you need to push to remove this inner part of the handle out if you can't do that you can use a screwdriver just pop it in push that out of the way now once that's removed this here should become a lot easier to pop out of the way once we've popped this up obviously we're going to disconnect the switch underneath two three phillips so once i remove those three phillips screws i'm literally going to remove the one up here in the corner which we can remember from the other side and then um, i should be able to start pulling the door card off 
I've come back out the next day now because obviously it got too dark last night. Um, just wanted to quickly remind you, just make sure that you unplug absolutely everything. There's a few extra plugs here for the extra switches that you have on the driver side and obviously the light for the immobilizer that is just sits above this. So make sure you disconnect all of that. Um, and then it will be time to go ahead and put this bracket on this side. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna whiz through this one, obviously, because you've already seen the other side, but um, I'll show you what the finished product looked like. Again, prepared this side with a bit of the sealant around it, just so we seal up the hole there, because like I said earlier, you get the foam back in on the original one. So I'm gonna go ahead, squeeze this on now, and then take it from there. Right, so I've now also got the driver's side done, tested it and it works so we're all good there um, now I should really turn my attention to the rear um, I need to fix the door card for this side before it goes back on and I also um, need to get my little door fixings up before I put that side on so um, let me get the rear done and find out exactly what I need to route out to fix little issues here and there all around the car and then I'll get it all back together right so it's time for me to turn my attention to the rear speakers now um, as you can see my door cards here the cloth on them sagging as well but to be honest with you I'm looking to um, upgrade all four door cards and um, the front seats as well all to leather ones higher spec ones so for now I'm not going to worry too much um, so for me it's a little bit easier because my false floor is just going to come straight out um, I'll try and find the clip of when I fitted this false floor to show you how to remove um, your rear seats and stuff uh, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these rear door cards off now right so thankfully these rear interior panels are not the worst to remove I've done this one over here and actually the speaker is held in by um, Philips's at the rear so let me just show you what you need to do is to remove this cap it's just like a threaded cap and it goes on a little threaded stud that's actually from the body of the car then we can start pulling the panel away i'm going to move to the other side of the car and start pulling it off um, because from here it's a little bit difficult now for some reason this side is putting up a really good fight i started pulling it from the bottom i've got a couple of the poppers off one of them sadly broken but like I said, I can replace them, but it's being really stubborn, just trying to pull it. Um, so all I need to do is pull all these poppers out all along the way, and then the door card literally picks up and it comes out this way towards us. Um, I'll show you where all the fixings are in a minute. Right, when you've pulled it, when you've pulled all the poppers off, don't forget the top of the interior trim panel sits here down at the bottom of the window and there are these two clips at the back which the back of the trim sits into so it needs to be pulled out um, in order to release those off as well so and then you need to disconnect the little tweeter back here and then your panel is free to come out right so that is now both sides ready for speaker removal again I've got these which are in the tatters anyway so I'm just gonna start getting these speakers out get those new ones mounted fire them up see what they sound like now all I'm gonna do here to make life easy for myself because I need to remove the plug I'm gonna just pull this out of the way I can get to the plug can undo my four screws and get the new base plate on there we have it one rear speaker removed um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll just quickly remove the other side and then fit both of them up at the same time rather than removing this side and putting the new one on and then removing that side and putting the new one on I'm just gonna do both at the same time okay so these rear brackets are also getting sealed up the same way the front ones did now don't worry if this looks a little bit messy it will squish and go completely flat and you can trim any excess off if you like so i'm going to go ahead and fit these on either side and then um i'll have a think about what i'm going to do because these screws here 
I don't know if they're going to be long enough to fit through um, this and I don't know if this uh, little bore here is going to accommodate the head of them so we'll see how we go but if not I can just use the screws that came with the kit no problem right so I've got the rear brackets in speakers are here ready to go along with the um, connector adapter and luckily this time because the loom is able to be tucked behind I won't need to be drilling a hole to tuck the wires through right so I've got this side here all ready to go all boxed up ready to go I just need to test it in a minute as for this side I've got the speaker here I've got my um, adapter on the back and all I'm gonna do is once I get that in I'm just gonna put the screws in and then I'll be able to plug it in at the back nice and simple no modification required okay so as you can see we're done on both sides now everything's all good they have been tested it is time to get the um, rear interior panels back on now I'm gonna be replacing a few of these fixings like I said I've got a bag of them there I ordered them from before um, so I'm just gonna be popping new ones on this one here it's broken at the top should look more complete like that and then this one was actually missing so I'm gonna replace those and get this side back on and then I'll move on to the other side okay so one side at the rear is now back in it's just time to put the other side on and then uh, what I need to do is I need to repair those front door cards well repair front door card one front door card and a little um, Broken clip on the front here and the resin that I use needs 24 hours to dry So I'm gonna leave it till tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get this side all boxed back up and then uh, Repair that door card repair that clip and then um, I think we're done Right, so I'm ready to put the um, door card back on this side I just had to repair this little fixing here because um, it was snapped off and it was actually snapped off on the other side as well um, it was actually stuck inside the door card so I'm assuming that these break pretty easily um, so I'm gonna go ahead get this door card on and then I'll go and do the other side right job is all finished now this door card um, all I did was literally stuck back the top line of it around there it's really difficult to stick behind because um, the material behind there is disintegrated so um, it was really difficult but I'll be getting leather ones soon anyway but yeah here we go speakers are in place on both sides everything's looking good um, so that's about it really I'm not gonna bother with all the sound tests and stuff because um, I can't really do anything accurately so that's it really okay so I've now done the speaker install complete all four speakers in all of the door panels are done now um only thing I haven't done is the tweeters and to be honest with you while I was driving along just now I've just gone for a quick um quick tear up on the streets just to see what the speakers sound like while I've got music playing and uh, I can hear the crackling coming from those little um, tweeters now so I think the next thing I'm gonna do you've got to modify um, those parts there behind the mirrors in order to fit those tweeters so I'm gonna have to modify those and um, in order to fit them so I'll have to see what happens there guys but don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys nice and easy job for you guys to try out if you want to do it yourselves and I'll see you next time on the spooling up channel